What's up y'all, it's your girl Sid Simone and I'm coming at you with another video. In today's video, I was debating on whether I wanted to do a Q&A or just a video talking about something that has been kind of heavy on my mind as of lately. So I think I'm just going to talk about what's on my brain right now and then I'm going to, yeah. I have a lot of stuff to do lately people have been just on my ass about my youtube and my business and stuff like that i feel like everybody's just trying to give their constructive <coughs> criticism about how they feel about how i'm running stuff or about what i'm doing with my you know own shit and it's just really getting on my nerves because all I ever do is reach out to people and congratulate them on their success or tell them, oh, you know, I liked your editing or I liked, you know, this video or whatever. And then they feel the need to talk about what they think I should do to build my channel or something like that. And I'm like, the conversation didn't really call for that. So my biggest thing about youtube is people really just don't understand everything that goes into it like all of the things that could go wrong like first of all editing itself can take like days upon days i mean some people move faster than others but sometimes editing can be a pain in the ass because it can take a long time to complete i'm gonna have to turn this off but it is so hot and there are horse flies all around my car and I'm like so scared. <sighs> I was in here smoking, but like I didn't wanna, it's hot y'all, like. It's not even like that hot because it's like September now, but it's kind of hot. But yeah, editing can take forever. Um, sometimes Wi-Fi issues, like there have been times where I can't get Wi-Fi in certain places, so I can't post when I said I'm gonna post a video like if I said I'm gonna post it at 12 o'clock on a Friday sometimes I might be at work or somewhere where I don't have Wi-Fi or service so I can't post it at 12 o'clock and now that we have premieres um it's a little bit easier so I can set it up but sometimes like I said editing takes forever so then I'm not finished editing until the day of posting most days and you know it just doesn't work out well then sometimes you have to deal with storage oh my gosh there have been so many times where i have literally had to delete every app on my phone just to have space for the freaking videos and that's why i really need to get a camera because i think it would really help out if i could edit on my computer and stuff like that if i had a real camera but i don't so I have to work with what I have and that is my phone and it works pretty well so I don't bother too much with going out buying a $300 camera when I have a perfectly good iPhone 11 with pretty good camera quality on it right here so and don't even get me started on the competition in my eyes there is no competition but it's like people try to create one with you when they throw shady comments like you don't have to say all of that stuff you know I just feel like sometimes people don't pay attention to their own shit like they feel obligated to say something to me when all i've ever did was come at them with compliments you know and tell them oh you're doing a great job i like your editing i like the way you know you did this video i liked what you talked about you know people just i don't know it's just it's irritating because i feel like it's no support you know and i just feel like that's what goes into the next thing and that's you know mental health and sometimes i feel like youtube can be a toll on your mental health just like any other social media platform and i feel like when you think about how hard you work and the competition and the shit talk and the just being behind when you've been on it longer than other people or stuff like that like once you get caught up in all that shit it's really hard to like bring yourself back to a good mental state where you realize hey i started this just for fun i didn't start this for the competition i didn't start this for the stress i didn't start this 
for the bullshit. I started this to have fun and show the world that I'm a talented, fun-loving person. I have a great personality. You know, I just feel like in high school, I was really looked at like poorly by my peers only because I would go off and I would have raging moments, but it was because I would have to defend myself. And, you know, I just feel like nobody really understood that. And I want people to know that I'm not like that. Like I'm not some raging bitch. I'm actually really cool. I'm really fun. I really like to do a lot and just I just want to make my mark on this world that's all I want and it's kind of hard to do that sometimes when you got to deal with all of the extra shit so it's really harsh on your mental health sometimes okay so now I'm gonna bring you guys into my little workplace and my little humble abode you know here we go so this is where all of the action happens for my bandanas and my serums and all here at this little desk. Currently, I'm working on something right now. It's, um, it's taking a little while for me to get it finished because I'm trying to be a little careful, but I'm going to do a lot more to it. Just a little, you know, between you and me, sneak peek. I'm going to put cotton balls on it. And it's going to have some other extra designs to it as well soon. So, yeah, I'm trying my best to move as fast as I can with it. You know, sometimes I get a little depressed and it makes me feel a little under motivated and lazy or whatever you want to call it, burnt out or whatever. And I just don't feel the motivation to keep going sometimes, but I am excited to do more with my business. I have a lot of different ideas that I want to do um, for the next couple of weeks and next month. I have a lot that I want to do and um, I want to start on some new projects as well and I'm going to start on some new projects as well and right now I'm at a point where whether we make sales or not, I'm still going to keep going and I'm still going to keep trying until I get some exposure, until somebody cares, until somebody gives a fuck and buys, you know, my product. But until then, I'm just going to keep going and keep doing what I have to do to be prosperous and make my business a success because, you know, I started it for a reason and I can't just pull out of it and act like I didn't come in here with a set intention to, you know, add something to my name and something to my legacy because that's what this is all about. Like, people keep asking me, what am I doing with my life? What am I doing with my life? I'm trying to build a legacy. I'm trying to leave something behind. I'm trying to make my brand a household name. And I want to show people that I have so much to offer. I gotta do this real intricately when I go around the clouds. Not too intricately though, because you know, the cotton balls about to be applied on here. I'm gonna do that via hot glue gun. But you know, I'm just a stickler for making little errors like that. But I need to not be so much like that because honestly, bending over like this to paint puts a little pain in my neck sometimes. Like, it kind of hurts. And I've been around other artists who say the same thing, like bending over for paintings or for sketches sometimes puts a strain on their back or their neck. And yeah, it's irritating. And I have to paint these things so intricately and I put my, you know, pure effort, heart and soul into it. So, but the thing is I only started this company, company. It will be a company one day, you know, a brand one day. But right now I'm doing it all on my own and I started it only like six months ago maybe. So there is still time and I still have hope. But I have been taking a big hiatus from really working on it to be honest because like I said, sometimes I feel a little discouraged. Sometimes I feel like I don't wanna keep going and I don't wanna keep painting and I don't wanna keep trying, but Sometimes you got to just block out the naysayers, the haters, the negative thoughts and the self-doubt. And you got to remember who you are and you got to keep going because you got to remember that you didn't start this for no reason. And you're not going to just stop for no reason. No matter what it takes, you're going to keep going because giving up is the real failure.
So I have about two more bandanas to do. I've started on one already, but I need some fabric paint for it. And I think for the very last one, I wanna do something big, something really special. And I was thinking about creating characters for my brand for the longest time. And I went ahead and I did it. And these are the characters that I came up with. The sketches. They're really inspired to me by drag queens because I watch a lot of RuPaul's Drag Race. So I'm really a huge fan of the drag look. I love the eye shapes that they create, the dramatic makeup, the dramatic lips, just everything is just so voluptuous. <laughs> now, I don't use my serums every single day. Like I really should, like you really should if you really want to see results, but I think I'm already seeing results. I've already had long and somewhat full lashes my entire life, but I feel like they're kind of growing a little bit more. Like I could be wrong, but I don't know. Hmm. I have four ready to go bottles of serum and I have like two more bottles that I need to do so it's like six of them but I ran out of all the products that I need so. I tried to spruce myself up a little bit just so that I don't look crazy at the gas station but I'm gonna spill a little bit of tea about my serum because a lot of people are skeptical about getting it because they don't know what's in it. But I'm here to tell you that a lot of good things are in it. Trust and believe that. It's really only oils, first and foremost. Um, the oils do a lot of different things, and I do advertise that on my Instagram. Excuse this. I guess I'm going to go ahead and put on a fucking seatbelt because that's going to be in the way if I don't. But anyways, <coughs> what goes into it is jojoba oil, almond oil coconut oil, castor oil, shea oil, and I think that's it for right now. I am updating the formula as we speak, and um, I didn't want to give too much of what all is in it because I didn't want anybody stealing my formula. Um, I do go about it a certain way so that I'm not just mashing a bunch of oils together. I try to do the perfect blend so I'm not telling you my formula or how I blend it up you know whatever but those are the oils that go into it and I do enjoy working on that and that project is going to continue on throughout the NMBS you know throughout its time being a brand like that's not going to stop but I do think I am going to eventually cut off the bandanas and start on other projects very very soon